Hi guys, Dave here with a new lesson for you. Uh, today I'm going to pick apart a solo that I played and I've had a few requests for this and it's uh, Brian Adams, It's Only Love and I just played a solo that was kind of in keeping with the tune and uh, yeah, I've had a few kind of requests to kind of go through it. So I'm going to go through it uh, lick by lick. Okay, hope you get a lot from this one. Let's go in for a close up. So the whole solo is in the key of D minor or you could think of it as F major. Certainly the chord progression starts on D minor, then to a C, then an A sus4, B flat, and then it lands on an F major. So um, sometimes it feels like D minor, sometimes it's F major. Basically it's the same set of notes either way you look at it. So first phrase, and I tend to think of this as like a D minor pentatonic box for the most part. We get this little run. So I'm hammering on 10 to 13 on the B, then 10 on the E, then a whole step bend on the 13th fret of the B, then just play 13 normally, add vibrato. Right, next phrase. Again, pretty much within the box, I slide into the first note. So that's the 12th fret on the D, then 10, 12 on the G, and then I bend that 12 up a whole step. Like that. Then 10 on the E, 13 on the B, and then I do a bend and release on the 12th fret of the G. Ten on the G with a bit of vibrato and a little chromatic run down 12, 11, 10 on the D. Finishing off on 12 on the A and slide down. Okay, next phrase. So a new position, still kind of D minor. So I slide into five on the A, then three on the D, five on the A, five on the D, like that. And then I slide from five to seven on the D, hammer five to seven on the G, six on the B, five on the G, and then I do a whole step bend from the 8th fret on the B. Then I play 6-8 on the B, and then 7 on the G, and add a bit of vibrato. So that whole phrase again. Like so. For this next phrase, I slide into 7 on the G, then 6, 8 on the B, and then pick 8 again and bend up a whole step. Then play 8 on the E, then bend and release 8 on the B. Finishing up on 6. Again, adding a bit of vibrato on there. Next phrase. So I'm sliding 8 to 10 on the B, then play 8 to 10 on the E, then I move position back into my pentatonic box again. I'm playing 13 to 10 on the E, 13 to 10 on the B, then 13th fret, bend and release, a whole step bend. Add a bit of vibrato onto that one. Okay, the next bit is a, 
I bend release and then re-bend and this is the 13th fret on the E and it's a whole step bend. So I'll do a quick bend and release and then I slowly bend the note back up. Then play 13 normally, add a bit of vibrato. Like so. Let me get a little uh, lick. So again, all kind of D minor pentatonic. I play eight, uh, 10 on the E, pulling off 13, 10 on the B, and then I bend a whole step on the 13th fret of the B. Like that, typical lick. Then I play back to 10 on the E, pull off 13, 10 on the B, then a bend release on the 12th fret of the G. I was just a little half step. A one fret bend. Pull off onto 10. Then I play 12 on the D. 12 on the G. Back to 12 on the D. And then 10 on the G. So that phrase, I'll play a little bit slower so you can hear the rhythm. Then to finish off, so that's 12 10 on the D, play 12 on the A, bit of vibrato, and then just slide it down, like so. Right, next lick is probably the flashiest bit of the whole solo. So, what we've got there is a typical kind of uh, classic rock lick and it's basically in triplets um, but the way I play I employ a little bit of hybrid picking so I use my middle finger for some of the uh, some of the notes so I um, pull off and hammer on 10 12 sorry 12 10 12 on the A string then my middle finger is going to play the 10th fret 10th fret on the D then I pick 12 on the A and then re-pick a uh, temp fret with my middle finger on the D string like that so it's pick pull off hammer middle finger pick that's a down pick then back to the middle finger so you can kind of get a group of six and I use that all the way up so that's 10, 12, sorry, I keep getting that the wrong way around. 12, 10, 12 on the D. Then I've got 10 on the G, 12, D, 10, G. Like that. Same thing for the next bit. Um, 12, 10, 12. The hammer pull off on the G. 10 on the B. 12 on the G. Back to 10 on the B. Slightly different this one. Um, 13, 10, 13, pull off and hammer on on the B. Then I play 10 on the E. And then I just pull off 13, 10 on the B. Like that. So all of that run slowly. So, so for the next phrase, um, I just do a whole step bend on the 13th fret of the E, then play 13 normally, bit of vibrato, then I move up, do a whole step bend on the 15th fret, then play 13, 15 on the E, 15 on the B, Bit of vibrato. Let's get the next phrase up. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so this is happening over the F chord, so I'll make a mention of this. Sometimes when I'm playing over the major chord, um, I'll actually play the minor pentatonic over the top. So I'm playing over an F major chord, but I'm going to play an F minor pentatonic. And uh, it should be wrong, but it kind of just makes it sound slightly more bluesy. So what I'm doing there is uh, 13, 15 on the B, 13 on the E, playing the 13th fret again on the E, and then what I'm doing now, a 16th fret on the E, I bend up a full step, release it, and then just bring it back up a half step, like that. Uh, something I nicked off of Robin Ford once, I think. <laughs> does a lot of those sort of things. Then I play 13 on the on the E, 15 on the B, back to 13 on the E, and then I bend a full step from the 16th fret on the B. Then I play 13 on the E, put off 16 to 13 on the B, then on the G I go 16, 15, 13, 15 on the D. So kind of like a blues scale. Then I go back up to 15 on the G, 15 D, then 13, 14 on the G. So I've got both the minor and the major third out of the F major. Then 15 on the D. So yeah, kind of a real bluesy kind of mixolydian sort of feel over that chord. Here you go. Okay, next phrase. Back to our kind of D minor pentatonic. So that's 12 on the D, 10 on the G, bend a whole step on the 12th fret of the G, 13B, Um, play half step bend on the 12th fret of the G and then bend it a full step. Add vibrato on the bend. Like that. Um, Adding an extra note into the pentatonic here, I'm, I'm going to play a B flat here. So I'm playing 13, sorry, 11, 13 on the B. Then I bend a half step on the 12th fret of the G. Play 12 normally. 10. Then 12 on the D. 12 G. 12 D. 10 G. Then I'm going to employ that kind of bluesy approach to the F major chord again. So again, kind of bluesy mixolydian sort of feel. So for that I'm playing, uh, so think of it. So I'm kind of thinking like F minor pentatonic or, or F blues scale if you like. But the actual lick itself is so I'm playing 8, 10 on the G. Gonna play 8 on the on the D, and then I do a little, little hammer pull off, pull off. <laughs> so I play the 8, then I hammer on 9, pull off to 8, pull off to 6. And I play 8 normally, then I'm gonna slide from 6 to 7 on the D. Going to carry on that approach over the F. So um, for this, kind of outlining a little bit of the F chord, slide into A on the A string, then 7D, 8A, 
8D, 8A, then I slide 9 to 10 on the D, finishing on 8G. So I'm kind of pedalling back to that F note, that low F note, to start off with. Then Kind of a similar idea, I'm kind of pedalling back a bit on this one as well. Uh, sliding 10 to 12 on the D, 10 on the G, 12 on the D, 12 G, 12 D, then bend 12th fret on the G up a full step. So again, I'm, this time I'm pedalling back to a D note. And then to finish off, so that's 10-13 on the B, sorry and then it's not a bend, it's just uh, finishes on a 12th fret of the G with a bit of vibrato. So I'm trying to put the first, last line together. Like so. And uh, that was my solo to It's Only Love. I hope you have fun with this one, guys, and I will see you soon.